Hey guys, hope all of you are doing good. Welcome back to another Excel video. In the first Excel video, we saw a little bit about sum ifs, sum ifs, data validation, and VLOOKUP. Today, I'm going to teach you count ifs and also a little bit about conditional formatting. Okay, let's get started right away with the video. First step, like just as a revision of last class, do you guys remember how did we find uh, unique values from a given column? So for example, we want to find the unique value of country. What you could do is you could simply copy. Okay, just copy that. Maybe go to new sheet, paste it. And then just click on remove duplicates and say, okay, you have the values, right? Like the unique values. And now to do a data validation drop down, what you could do, you could go back to a cell here. Go to data, data validation and click on list. What is the source? Source is basically those unique values. So go to that sheet, select them and click OK. Cool. Now we have the drop downs here. OK. Uh, similarly, if I have wanted to do it for year, I could just copy. Let's do it quickly. Go here and say remove duplicates. Click OK. And I have these three years. And I go back here. Maybe in the, you know, this cell, I put data validation list source again is these three and click OK. That's it. And I select the year. OK, cool. Now let's first see what is count if. OK, count if is so basically say in this data, we want to see how many rows have the country equal to India, right? So if we count manually here, we know one, two, three and I think four. But imagine there were hundreds of rows. We can't do this manual counting. How to do count if is pretty simple. So let me reset this to India. So the condition works well. So you'll say is equal to count if. OK, first is the range. So where we want to check. So the range is basically all the rows. And then criteria. Criteria is basically it has to be equal to India, right? So I just select H3 here. Close. Done, we get four. Australia, for example, is present once, twice, thrice, right? Like two times here and once. So it's present three times. So now if I change this to Australia, we get count if S3, OK. Pretty simple. An extension of count if is count ifs with like multiple criteria, right? Say I wanted to see uh, number of rows which had India as country and year as 2019. If you see in this data, uh, India 2019, for Mumbai there is one value, then for Delhi there is one value, right? There are two rows of data, okay? How can we, you know, actually compute this using count ifs? So we will say is equal to count ifs, okay? And uh, so first you give criteria range one. So first uh, criteria range is this one anyways, then put a comma. What is the criteria is this. Uh, then criteria range two is the year column. Then criteria two is basically this one year, right? And then just close it. So now Australia 2020, there is only one value, which makes sense, right? Only this value. Now if I change this to India and 2019, we get two, right? Because there are two rows of data as I showed you. One row for Delhi, one row, I mean one row for Mumbai and one row for Delhi, okay? So count ifs is almost same as count if, just multiple conditions, okay? And always do these drop down so it's easy for you to just change and see England 2021, it's one, right? So it's e pretty easy to do, just you can select whatever you want and the formulas will adopt accordingly, okay? One third thing that I wanted to teach you today was conditional formatting. There are some different things you can do in conditional formatting. Let me quickly show you, okay? So first of all, let's say for this sales cell, okay? Let me say, uh, now for example, I wanna color only the duplicate values. For example, 120 is here, 120 is repeating, right? I don't, and then there is 200 and 200 is also repeating. So whichever are repeated, I want to color them with a particular color. So what I can do, I can select, go to home, go to conditional formatting, say new rule, and you click on this format only unique or duplicate. So I want to format duplicate. Uh, I want to give it a green color. Okay. Click OK. Done. Okay. So 200 and 120 have a repeated value. So they are getting color. Same way. If you go to manage rules and edit rule, instead of duplicate, you could also say unique and click OK. Now you see 
when I select unique, only the unique values are getting colored uh, 200, 200, 120, 120. The duplicates are not getting colored. Okay. This is to color unique and duplicate. So you can go to manage rules and say uh, delete that rule. Okay. Now another rule say I wanted to color this from uh, minimum to maximum. I could go to here, say new rules format cells based on values so it will color on a two color scale starting from this color to this color if i click ok you will see so as you see as uh, you know the smaller numbers like 120 are getting proper orange so you go to higher numbers like 300 it's proper yellow right it's progressing from orange to yellow the middle numbers like 200 are like having shade of orange and yellow this is good color coding as well okay so i can go to manage rules and i also delete this rule show you one more rule uh, you can select this go to new rule so you can uh, format cells only that contain so you can go there say I want to format only cells that are between 120 and one say 121 and 149 I don't think there are values there right let's say one 100 and 149 so I'll say cell value between 100 and 149 I can say format I can give some color click OK I think only these two values are between 100 and 149 right 120 so that is alone getting colored okay this is another way one more thing that we can do is you can create a new rule and uh, yeah use a formula to determine say I can go here and say for this what we can do let me come back here let me select a specific cell like this go here say new rule formula and then you can say what is that cell so is equal to c2 say it's greater than 130 then in format you go and say it's give it a color yellow okay so it, it's not greater than 130 then you can simply keep your uh, cursor here and then say format painter just drag the formula along and now what happened is wherever the value was greater than 130 we got yellow color right going back to the condition going back to manage rule so this was the condition right so wherever it is greater than 130 I'm saying please color it by yellow and that's what exactly happened so you can basically do uh, coloring using a condition a cell greater than a particular value and as you see here we have multiple conditions so for 120 cell there is cell greater than 130 condition also then I think there is also cell value between 100 and 149 so multiple conditional formatting can also be applied on the same cell okay I hope you got the basics of conditional formatting and you enjoyed the video I will see you again in another video till then bye